Good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is So Much to Say YouTube TV. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. Now, So Much to Say YouTube TV is the place that you come to learn and grow. So go ahead and hit the like button, the share button, and the subscribe button. And turn on that little bell so that you get a notification every single time that I go live or I upload something new. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, niece, I know I set the thing for 1245. But, uh, niece, I had a raw, I was in the middle of something. So it, it you know, good day thinkers, thought leaders, progressives, and dreamers. What's up, Nicole Hawkins, Too Sweet, Alicia, Monique. I'm Craig the Writer Stewart, and this is Aunt Elliot. These are my thoughts in my voice on black shit, white shit, gay shit, and everything in between. We are getting everything ready for this weekend. We know you all will be descending on Atlanta like the gays during MLK and uh, Gay Pride weekend to come see the dynamic duo. Amen? Oh my God. Amen. Now, I don't know if I'm going to have a few more gray hairs down here, up here, or down here in the crotch region. Uh -uh, I love it. Because between Kim, I mean, not Kim, between Nikki and Keon, I'm going to lose my goddamn mind. <laughs> now, those of you that have been, oh, mm. that are coming from out of town and you were invited or will be invited to the um, brunch, the mimosa brunch. So I... Nikki had this great, great, great idea to, that's the dry cleaners. Nikki had this great idea to um, post these links for the show. There's a link for the show and there's a link for the brunch. So for those of you that are coming to the show or to the brunch or to both, you can upload your pictures, you can upload your video content, and we'll be able to create like a collage of like the weekend. So I had originally told Nikki and Keon that I wasn't going to post the link until Thursday, which is tomorrow. I don't know why the comments aren't advancing, so I'm going to refresh. All right. Can y'all see me? So, um... You basically would be able to upload your footage. So my thing is, Elliot's drink of water. H2O. That's City Punch, honey. <laughs> but, you know, I told them that I was going to upload the, the links on Thursday, but I took it upon myself to load the links over on Patreon because I know my people on Patreon be on top of stuff. So I uploaded it on my Patreon and I uploaded it on the Patreon that I have with Keon. So then some of you, which you should have, started um, RSVPing and putting, you know, you know, so that you can upload your footage and your content. Well, wouldn't you know, Nikki um, texted us the next day and said she deleted the links because y'all had already started RSVP. <laughs> I said, well, isn't that what they, we want them to do? But RSVP? You, you told her Thursday. Doesn't matter. So my thought, though, was if you were going to delete it, you should have at least said, well, Craig, they're already RSVP, and so I'm going to delete it, da 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 Did she write down the name for the people who RSVP no. before she deleted it? So she deleted it. And I oh. said, well, girl, why you? So this is the next day. I'm like, well, girl, why did you delete it? I posted the link so that they can start RSVPing. Hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button. And so, um, so anyway, so that was the first thing. They, so they were like, well, they said that you weren't going to... Um, you weren't going to post it to Thursday. I said, okay, yes, that's true. But, and however, if you were going to delete it, why didn't you just say, well, Craig, I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I could have said, you know, don't delete it. That's the first thing. Second thing is this. Now, this is where she completely fucked up. This ain't had nothing to do with me. Watch this. Nikki recreates the links. Right. Mm -hmm. So I go into both Patreons and I upload them, you know, the new links. And I sent the message out to you guys so you know that I updated it. How about not only did she upload the first one and then delete it, 
But then when she uploaded the new one, she puts the address for where the brunch is going to be uh, in the link. To see it. So everybody can see it. Now, I don't care if those of you saw it who's actually invited. But it don't need to be, child, she's going to have people who ain't even buying the tickets to come to the show so, uh, showing up at the brunch. So I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, you're going to be at that door looking at them IDs and, and cross-checking, cross-referencing. I said, because why would you put... I, I, Craig, I'm a state. Wh why would you even put the address in there? They don't need the address she didn't in this her. link. She said, well, that's why I told you and Keon to look at it. I just said she didn't realize it. That's why you always have to do their validation. Of so let me tell you what I said to her, because we're in a group text. Let me tell you what I said to her in, in, in Keon a few minutes before you showed up. <laughs> I said, I said, so let me get this right, Nikki. It's my fault that you deleted the first one simply because people were RSVPing. And it's my fault, again, because you put the address to the secret brunch location in the link. And what was Nikki's response? Because I know it was nice. So then she said, so she sends me this little uh this little gift with right Maya here Rudolph. with Maya Rudolph. <laughs> so then I said, and you could have communicated that you wanted to delete it before you actually did it. So then I sent my gift. <laughs> okay. So then I sent mine. Do, do you see me looking over my shoulder in a gift? <laughs> so then I said to her and Keon. I said, let me go on Indeed.com and find me a white or Asian assistant. Because I ain't got to put up with this. Let me drop my shirt off at the drop. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He's dropping off his shirt in the cleaners. What the hell? Alicia, I saw your comment. Let me go back. About the cruise. It was absolutely wonderful. What? Turn it off. I can't hear you too going. He in the clean is trying to tell me what to tell y'all. Anyway, to answer Alicia's question, the cruise was absolutely fabulous. It was a vacation that I didn't want to come home. Let me put it that way. I just told people at work, wait a minute, that um, I need a vacation to get over the vacation. For, for those of you all that have never experienced a cruise or maybe have experienced cruise lines there's so many out there that they all may seem the same but they're not and, and i say that because i have been cruising on cruise lines since 1994 i think it is and i was a outside sales travel agent in my younger years when i was in my early 20s so one of the things that we had to do was experience every cruise line so that we could so that we could properly sell the cruise line so we would do they were called fam excursions where they were familiarization excursions where we would go for a few days and they would tell us about the ship then we would have days that we could just leisure hands down from that experience each one of them have a specialty i told you he was bringing that that he was he's piling all that stuff on his truck to bring it over here to sell that metal because they get paid for that mm. And the heavier it is, the, the more money they get. But anyway, hands down, there are certain bonuses for each cruise line. I will say that. For people who are on a budget and you want the experience of cruising, which I think is fantastic, Carnival is your cheapest way to go. Now, Carnival logo is the fun ship. It is a, it is a fun ship, but it's a budget fun ship, meaning you're going to get what you pay for but it's still, they do have fun activities for children, adults, and, and such. Royal Caribbean, a step up above Carnival, but it's still not Virgin. It's still not Princess. It's still not MSC. There are certain ones, or excuse me, or Celebrity. There are certain ones that you're going to pay more because of the accommodations, the level of food that you get, and just the idea that the cruise ship itself is just a better cruise line. I took Royal Caribbean. It was great. The service was outstanding after the first day. The first day, there was an incident with dinner because we made reservations because we did my time cruising and it was eight of us. I reserved it, got there. And with my time cruising, you're supposed to make a reservation that you come in. You can sit anywhere you want to sit and they have it. Got there. There was a lot of people in line for the people who made reservations. 
people who didn't make reservation was coming into the damn restaurant and they was taking them first and I lost it. Like how they're gonna be trying to show up at the brunch uh -huh. Saturday because Nikki didn't do what she was supposed oh, to do. Oh my god, Jack. You see what I did there? I see you transitioned. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty. But the cruise was great. But look, you know, speaking of cruises, you all have been asking me about doing a pen pal getaway. Oh, girl, here she going here trying to defend herself in the comments. Girl, I'm already, I've already told them all of that. I've already told them all of that. I didn't say I was reviewing it, Nikki. What I said was Ke Keon wasn't doing shit. Let him review it. He over there acting like he's doing so much over there at that school. But anyway... <laughs> Shit, I'm trying to I'm trying to have meetings and conferences with Jack so y'all food and shit be right for Saturday. And at taste this, test. And taste test and shit. I got to study tomorrow for uh, pay for your say at my house. Uh, I got to get that because that's 750 American dollars. Okay. Mm. And um, Gladys' birthday is next in a couple weeks. I'm about to say next month in a couple weeks. And every time I look up, we talking on the phone. She talking to me about... Um, this party, and now we up to 30 people. It was 23. And we'll talk about that later. I have some concerns. Girl, you and me. Well, well, let's, well let me say this real quick, and then we can jump into the concerns. Because I already know what my strategy is going to be for this dinner. Well, I need to understand, because you just shocked me with that news. Because I'm saying... She could have just had a party. Was, that's what, She didn't want a party, because she said she just wanted the sisters. I'm like, okay, it's going to be quaint. It's going to be quiet. It's going to be very, you know, personable. Now you just said 30 people. Wait a minute, Nikki. First of all, oh my God. I said, because she's trying to pull me together down here in these comments. First of all, I said that you asked me if the if the uh, artwork looked okay. I said, yeah, the artwork is fine. I didn't say I looked into it. But at any rate, you talk like that girl right there in front of you. I know. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. So you guys have been asking me for a long time about doing a pen pal retreat getaway and remember we played with the idea of you know doing like a cabin somewhere and i was just trying to figure out where that would be whether it would be here in the north georgia mountains or if it would be in tennessee or if it would be in maryland somewhere um and i remember i had said that um nikki we'll call you in one moment honey she said i need elliot to call we'll call you in one moment in fact you ain't got to call elliot we're gonna call you right on my device so it can be right here in the car <laughs> But at any rate, and I and I said that, you know, maybe Elliot could do like a little um, financial literacy workshop, but then we'll do some game nights and Jack would cook, do the breakfast and it would be like an all-inclusive thing. Well, we're not doing that. I have someone working on a Virgin Atlantic cruise, okay? Now, I need to know if you guys would be interested in doing that, okay? Now, here's the thing. We're looking at doing it in August of next year, like this, around the second week of August. It will be about $1,000 a person because the cabins are like $2,000, right? So if you have a roommate, you would be paying $1,000 a piece. We would leave from Miami. Oh, Maya talking about surviving, uh, <laughs> my, surviving impeccable works. Wait, what's that show from? Like Surviving R. Kelly, right. Surviving Impeccable Works. So we would do the second week in August, we would do Virgin Atlantic. Um, so I already had a meeting about it. So this is another reason why I couldn't be proofreading Nikki's work. So I had a meeting about this the day before yesterday. And so she's putting together the numbers for me. But again, it's going to be about $2,000 a person. So again, when you have a roommate, you would only be paying $1,000. It will be uh, five day, five or six days, something like that. It's like five or six days. All of your meals will be included. Like I said, we will leave from Miami. So we would get to Miami the day before the cruise leaves because we would do like a welcome and we would do like a happy hour. All of that will be included in your price, right? Um, the only thing that you have to pay beyond that will be your flight to Miami. And I'm going to tell you why. Because all of you live in all of these different places, there's no way for us to give us give you a price where somebody come from California, somebody come from New York, somebody come from Chicago. So you would have to get your own flight. But the base 
for the um, cruise, it would include all of your tips. It would include all of your meals. It would even potentially include, potentially, and I'm really leaning towards, certainly would include all of your drinks if you drink cocktails. So it would include all of that too, right? You would get like a drink credit and you'd be able to drink, you know, drink until your credit is gone. Let, let me edit that. If you get a certain suite, a certain room type. Well, the way she's going to package it, okay. it would have. Because I got a balcony and that was one of the, the trade-offs. I right. got $300 in credits and alcohol, which right. I can't do shit with. Right. So again, it's about $1,000. Let's just say about $1,100 a person, but you'd be able to pay in deposits, Okay. So you'd have all the way until, I think I want to say, 30 days before. So you'd have until, like, July of next year to pay it off, right? You can pay as much as you want. You know, there will be a minimum de 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 deposit. I think, the, and I don't know what the deposit is yet, so let me not say. But you would pay a minimum deposit. Here, here go Nikki talking about, is this an impeccable org's company paid event? Girl, I might get your flight down or something like that. We'll see. We ain't there yet. Company pay. Here she go. Here she go. <laughs> but 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 here's the thing. Again, we would have you um, fly into. Let's just say we were leaving on a Friday, right? Let's just say the the boat is setting sail on Friday. We would want you guys to fly. So you would book your flight. We would want you to fly into Miami on Thursday because we're gonna do like a welcome. We're gonna do happy hour. All of that would be included in your price. And then um, it would be like. Um, the way Virgin is set up, for those of you who may not know, Virgin, they don't have buffets. So you ain't got to worry about going up to the buffet and kids and shit up there because there ain't no children on, on Virgin Atlantic. There are no children. There are no buffets. It's all sit-down restaurants, right? So we can do our own. We can do excursions, and we'll have activities and stuff planned for all of us together. But we'll also have free time for you to do what you want to do too, right? So don't feel like you have to do everything that we do. Like, you can do your own stuff as well. Now, here's the thing, niece. Because, see, some of y'all set workers, naturally, like me. I'm not no set worker. It will behoove you. B-E-H-R-O-V-E. -E, behoove. It would behoove you to book your package through the agent that I'm working with. It's Legra. Man, uh, Madison's uh, manager. Remember, when we first met Legra, we did the trip to Dominican Republic, remember? So that's how that started. So she and I were talking the other day. She said, yeah, I think I think we can do it. Let's do it. So it would behoove you to book through through her, and I'm going to tell you why. Because one, it would include the, the happy hour before we get on the boat, like the night before, right? Again, just in this example, like if we're leaving on a Friday, you would fly into Miami on a Thursday. Your hotel stay in Miami would be included. Your happy hour would be included, like your drinks and stuff and whatever little hors d'oeuvres and food and shit we serve. Um, we'll have like a little giveaway bag with maybe T-shirts, a little swag bag. Like we do all that kind of stuff. Now, if you decide not to do that and you book your own cruise directly with uh, Virgin, don't think you're showing up at our happy hour because you can, okay? And you're not getting no swag bag and all that other stuff. And I'm only saying this because in the past when we've done this, people are like, well, I didn't get no bag. I didn't get no t-shirt. Why I can't come to the happy hour? Because you didn't pay for this, niece. So anyway, so that's how it is. So just stay tuned. Um, she's going to get back to me this week with um, the cost and everything. Oh, here's the only other thing that I'm going to need from you guys. We're trying to decide where we're going to go. Now, we would start in um, Miami, but we would either go to Dominican Republic or we would go to Mexico or where's the other? Where is it? It's Bahamas, uh, Grand Turks and Caicos, and Dominican Republic is one of them. Well, okay. It's Bahamas and Grand Turks, and then Dominican, it comes back. One of them starts in Miami, ends in Puerto Rico. So I'm going to give you guys the destinations. I'm going I'm to put them on my social media. If you're not in my Facebook group, So Much to Say Podcast, Pen Pals, join that group. It's over 2,000 people in that group. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to put the location, the destinations in there, and we're going to vote. Okay? I'm not going to choose for you guys. I'm going to put it in there, like whatever the options are, and we're going to vote as a, as a team, right? And we'll decide where we're going to go. So um, if you're not in that pod podcast group on Facebook, so much to say podcast, PayPal, join that. I'm going to post it in there. I'm going to post it on my YouTube channel. I'll post, I'll post it on all of my social media. But just stay tuned, niece, okay? So again, it's going to be about $1,100 if you have a roommate. If you're going to stay in the cabin by yourself, it's going to be about $2,000. And you can yeah. do that. 
you can do that. That's fine. And on Virgin Atlantic, Virgin Voyages, Vir Vir Virgin, Voyages Virgin Atlantic is the plane. Virgin Voyages, every balcony has a hammock, niece. It has its own hammock. We cruising nice, niece. All right, so I just wanted to let you all know that. Now, let me get Nikki on the phone. Call Nikki Woodford. She got, Nikki Woodford. She got 20 minutes to explain her case, okay? 20. So, again, this is going to be like August of next year. Nikki put the link down here for the group for you guys to join the group, okay? Nikki's on Facebook. Still working. Right Nikki's now. still working. Hello. Hi, Nikki. How are you? I am well. How are you? Good. Did you think I was upset yesterday? I wasn't upset, Nikki. Uh-uh. No. Oh, I'm okay. Because I know sometimes it's, emotions it's, and things get lost in translation through text. I don't know. I'm, I know you were, you were joking at times. It's okay. No, no, no. That's, that's that just in your nature. That's that corporate HR white bullshit that he's giving you. You know, when you're upset, I know things get lost <laughs> in translation. And so then this dumb bitch done fucked up. That's the black version. You, right. Because you know what? Because uh, <laughs> Keon, he's so sensitive, honey. He's like, oh, don't start Craig. Don't. I said, girl, I'm just, I'm just giving you. Listen, when he takes Craig with all them G's, I heard it in his voice. Baby, baby. Craig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. But uh, okay, go ahead. You want to explain your side? Cause I had already uh, drug you through the through the dirt. Yes, I heard you lie. No, if my brother hadn't tagged me. Oh, I just, I, 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 just, I, I just been out here spreading out the lies. I knew one of the messy uh, pen pals when he had tagged you. I figured it was Kevin Kev. Now, I never thought that it would have been my girl Mantra over there in New Jersey. Now, just for that Mantra, when you get down here. Uh -uh, I said Marquetta. Oh, Marquetta. On Facebook. Said, I'm, I'm Every sorry, time I'm, you go live, she tagged me to let me know. Oh, I'm sorry, Mantra, because I was about to block you from the brunch on Saturday. <laughs> but, look, Marquetta ain't even bought no tickets to Friday, <laughs> Sunday, or Saturday, so she ain't coming no way. Is he who? Uh huh. So, if Elliot, if you would be so kind when you get a chance, it don't have to be right now. Go back and look at the text message thread with Craig Keon and I. I specifically said I needed to know if y'all liked it. I was, I mean, the artwork was already there. Of course, they liked it because it's the flyer. And no, but the uh, but the brunch one had like little yeah. mimosas or champ, champagne. Yeah, mimosas. but it literally, if you had looked at it, it literally has the address right on top of the, of the glasses of the inch of the um picture. It was right, like it wasn't hiding, it wasn't uh really small. Yeah. It was literally right there with the date and the time. Uh, right. Okay. Okay. And then you text back. Yes, it's fine. Okay. And then, wait a minute, should I also say that at 9.16, he said, should I post this now or wait until Thursday? Keon said, wait until Thursday. He replied, okay. I concurred with posted. all of that. I concurred with all of that. But here's my thing. Here's my thing. When you well, said, Why would you ask if you already had plans to post it? Let me get Judge Judy Shinley on, on, on the line. No, 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 no. For real, I want to know, like... Why would you ask or confirm something for you to ignore the confirmation? Okay, so when I said on the phone, because those of you that are on the Patreon with me. No, 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 no. We're not doing any kind of explanation. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm about to say Why it. would you I'm confirm about to say it. I'm about to say to it. ignore the confirmation? I'm, see, this is why I need a white or an Asian assistant, because they wouldn't be talking all over top of me the way you're talking over top of me. See, this is that black woman in you. <laughs> it's, it's that black woman in you. I recognize it in my mother, and I recognize it in my Aunt Gloria. You gonna, you gonna answer the question or we just gonna talk about all your likes, dislikes, oh etc. Okay, so my answer is I said that I was gonna wait until Thursday, but then after I, we got off that conference call, I thought about it and I said, Well, I don't wanna wait until Thursday because I could I, I mean I could wait till Thursday to put it on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter and all those places. But I figured Patreon is the place to put it because they usually on top of the stuff. Like Patreon, they know stuff first. So I was like, well, let me put stuff on, put it on Patreon. So at least the people that are coming, that are registered on Patreon will already have the link saved. And like when they come into the airport, they can like any footage that they put, like coming to the airport or, you know, wherever we can include all of that stuff too. So then when you said, well, I understand your reasoning. All I heard was, I thought, I figured, I considered, but you are working with two other people. Now you ask two other people when you 
are we waiting until Thursday? The two other people confirm Thursday, and then you had a whole meeting by yourself to make a decision, not realizing that you didn't even let the IT person know that a decision has been made. So I'm thinking my entire network is now RSVP to something because I posted it, so I deleted it because it wasn't for them. Now, had I known or received a text like, hey, I'm getting ready to put this on Patreon, I'm going to wait until Thursday to post everywhere else, then all of those people RSVP wouldn't have alerted me to anything because I would have known that you put it on Patreon. Okay, now, now, now I know that Impeccable Works is a one-man band, okay? However, you are working with Nikki and Keon, so because there are three of us, correct, and correct, a correct, correct, person correct, once correct, said correct, communication correct. is our partner and clarity is our friend, there should have been some communication amongst correct, the other correct, two correct. people. Correction, you and I are working. Keon just kind of hovering around, okay? <laughs> You and I are working. Keon is just Keon worried about do Keon, Keon, like Keon, that. Keon uh, worried about what he gonna wear Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, honey. Uh, I ain't even had time to think about what the fuck I'm gonna put on. I may not even have my damn haircut when they see me. But here's the thing. But excuse me, but did, but did you get that music together though? Because it's Wednesday. I do know. I do. I have that together. Okay. But but here's the other thing. Cause see, when I assign him a small task, like making sure that the music and shit is in place at the place. He talking about what he think is gonna happen. Bitch, you live right there by the place. Why you can't stop over there one day? But back to you, Nikki. Do I need Before to go over there? Go back, I don't see the. I don't see it in here. I see where you put the address, but I don't see where she gave you an example of what it looks like. So I, I emailed them both links. You can okay. check their email address. I emailed them links that night to their email address, and they the clicked email. on the link from that. the email address. Okay. We didn't. I didn't send it via text. Okay, so go like to my email and type in her name. Over here, because I like I like for like those things web stuff to for them to be able to really view it, and sometimes with the communication between you know these iPhones and Androids, it doesn't always translate very well. Okay, now can I say my rebuttal? Are we still rebutting? Yes, we are. You wanted me to tell my side. No, no, no. Okay, now we heard that. Now, now here's what I'm gonna say. Now, even if I give you that. That I said that I was going to wait until Thursday to post the link so that they can upload their footage and stuff, or whatever, whatever, whatever. Keisha Ford is definitely going to be virgin. It's definitely going to be, we're not doing no other cruise line. It's definitely going to be virgin. Um, <laughs> um, but, but. Wait, I'm sorry. When is this trip? August of next year. Um, we're thinking like August, um, the second week in August. But she's going to farm mm -hmm. up everything for me in the next couple of days. But here's the thing even if I had agreed, that I wasn't gonna post the links until Thursday. I don't understand why on God's green earth with a blue sky, why you will put the address. Yes, I'm still here. Has it finished? Okay, so you're saying that you're still here. I don't see Okay. Have you attempted to take a transaction? Yeah. Or would you like me to go ahead and run a test transaction? Yeah, I get the wrong Yeah, you'll be able to make payments, uh naturally the so when we decide you don't have to use your you don't have to use a credit card at all. When we decide where we're gonna go, because remember I'm gonna put the locations or the destinations in the um in the on the social media so you guys can choose, right? We're gonna kinda vote and figure out where everybody wanna go. Once we figure that out, she'll let us know. I think the initial deposit might be like one fifty or two hundred, I don't know what it is, but I'll have to find out and then I'll post it and then you can make that deposit. And then you can just make a thirty dollar payment every pay period or whatever. You can, do, do, you know what I mean? Like you can do it as often as you want until it's paid off. <laughs> okay, my apologies. She's trying, I'm some of us have other work to do. In the middle of in the middle of my rebuttal, she's sitting here talking to some white woman on the other line. In, in the middle of my meeting, I'm listening to your rebuttal. So. Even if I did fuck up, which I don't think I did in the first instance, I'm trying to figure out why you put the address for the secret brunch location if we had talked about on that same phone call that we weren't going to email the people the address until Friday afternoon. Why would you put it on there when people who aren't even coming from out of town was going to see that same link? That's my well, fault, too. I th no, no, no. Listen, I figured the people who would be attending the brunch would get the brunch link and everyone else who are attending the shows would get the show link, which is why there are two separate links. Uh-uh. But if that we, was your uh, suggestion. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. They weren't going to get separate links. My question, niece, no, no, is no, 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 why no. was the address? You told me 
no, no, no. You said we need two separate events. You I said, know. Okay, that's I, a good know idea. I know do that. One for the most of brunch. Yes. And one, right. So but that, 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 didn't mean, that, that didn't mean. That didn't mean. That did not mean put the address in their daughter. We had already said we were going to email them the address on Friday. Why did the address need to go on? This was just for them to have the link to put footage in. Because when you are setting up the event, they ask for an address. Girl, you can put my P.O. box yeah. down there. I don't know your P.O. box. I don't even know what. Is she your sister? Nanny, Nikki, I can't go over that one. Denied, denied, denied. I'm going to do a Donald Trump yesterday with the judge. Girl, no. I'm I don't know nothing that. about no P.O. box. However, he can see that he reviewed the the the, uh, the event stuff when he said everything see, looks good. So he see, would have no, seen. No, no, no. I and if you would know. like, Elliot, when you I said can this, add the address so that you can. Let me tell her that because what she's not going to do is talk over me. What she's not going to do is talk. No, what she could have done. <laughs> Look, she could have put the address for 227 on there as far as I'm concerned. I don't give a damn. She did not have to put the address. Isn't this a hostile work environment? Mm, mm, she could have put stop. the address to 227 up there as far as I'm concerned. Hello? Now, now Elliot, as you were saying, if you would like, girl, I will add the girl, address girl, back girl, girl, to you the down. show so girl, that you can see exactly how it looked when he said everything looks good. I meant the artwork. Sir, 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 sir. The words were a part of the artwork. It was all one thing. It wasn't separate. It wasn't smaller. It was big as day right across the center of the glasses. So, Elliot, would you like me to show you how me, it looked? Let me, let me find this. He's fine You're not going to be able to see it because I deleted it and you had me take it off. But don't worry. I'm going to just put it on to where the show no, is. No, I'm going to look, I'm the look at the original one. You saw the screenshot? He's finding your original email. Yeah, but he's not going to be able to pull it up because it is no, that oh, is no longer there. Remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Don't worry. I'm going to just put it in. I'm going to put it in a random address so you can see. I, don't put in, uh, all I'm put saying it. is, if we logically, Nikki, if we were not sharing the address to the brunch, why would we put that address in there? Because only the people from the brunch who were already getting the address would be able to see it. But how was I going to promote just that, Nikki? Just to the I, because you said, and I <laughs> oh, hold on one thing. Dollar too much. Our resolution to this issue is what? Oh, Stand bad. at the door I, and I, say, look, I, I'm, 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 bad. I'm back. The, the resolution is, don't y'all come to this brunch if you ain't coming from out of town and you ain't RSVP. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. And you know you're not it wasn't up that long for them to even, okay, Elliot. Because what I don't need to happen is people who actually came from out of town who, who RSVP don't have no food because y'all yeah, just showed up and hate to shut up. Let me Elliot. To Go back in and look at the dynamic duo flyer. He can't even find it in my email. What's uh, deleted? Okay. Well, deleted. never mind, dear. <laughs> well, no, I just re -add, I put a different address on the du dynamic duo flyer just so you can see. On the original, on the flyer. Now, before that's I had the full it. address, city, state, and zip. This one, I just got the the address. And hold on. So, okay. Go ahead, y'all. I'm multitasking. So, what's the address that you have on the brunch one now? On the 6900 Lion. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, Nikki. Well, thank you for your um services. Okay. Yes. Let me go ahead and finish this meeting here. All right. We'll talk to you soon. My pleasure. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. -bye. T T Y L. <laughs> talk to you later. Um. Listen, if one more of you send me a message about them bug, bug, pet bugs and parents, I think everybody that follow me on social media sent me that either through email, through uh, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> like, I really appreciate y'all's thoughtfulness, though. And some of y'all were like, well, maybe you, maybe this is a sign that you need to stay here with us. No. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't go. I was like, oh, my God, if one more person sent me this. Not only did you all send it to me, but my friends sent it to me as well. They were texting it to me. All right. Did you see this? But is that in hotels, not so much in an Airbnb? Right. They were saying that it was in hotels and um, 
on the train or something. Well, on the movie theater. Oh, yeah, because it lives in fabric. It ain't going to live on a hard surface. Right. They said in the movie theater. We well, ain't going to that nowhere. Right. So I reached out to um, the guy, Vincent, and I said, have you heard about this? He said, yeah, I heard about it. I said, have you experienced this or anybody you know? He said, no. I said, oh, okay. Well, y'all need to clean that up for, before the kid touches down. It's so it's the long. same thing in New York because you have, have a bunch of tourists coming from different countries. Bed bugs are normal. It's just that it's out of control. But that's not anything new in a hotel. Room. Right. You're going to have bed bugs. They're supposed to be treated for that. Anyway. Y'all, some of y'all laying in bed bugs right now in your own address. Dead skin cells uh, in, in your own address. Oh my God. <laughs> right on your mattress. <laughs> right on your very own mattress. Same thing in Vegas. Amen. Right here. Um, yeah, the train is a common area. So um, my solution to that is to stand my ass up on the train. Don't sit down. Okay. Well, if they're like the trains in New York, they won't be on there anyway because it's it won't. It has to live in something fabric. Yeah, fabric. Right. Um, but yeah, maybe I will take a little spray bottle with some alcohol and spray around my um, Airbnb apartment. You can always get the bed bug killer too from the from the pharmacy. It's over the counter. Oh. Um. <clears throat> and spray down that mattress before you even lay on it. I thought that church was called World Changes. It's called Changers. That is World Changers. I thought it was World Changers. Oh, it's World Changers. All these years I've lived in Atlanta, and I thought it was called World Changes. Changers. Oh. They're changing the world. Oh, that's what they say. Kathy and Klepla. Is that what they say they do? Is that what they say now? I don't know whose world they're changing. They're changing your, your pockets. They, they took that Sam's and changed it to a church. That's what they did. Okay. They used to, they used to be a Sam's, Sam's or BJ's. That was, that was BJ's, not Sam's. Right. Now, let me tell you something. Don't y'all go over to Trader Joe's and start buying out all of the ginger snap cookies. <laughs> I went back over there yesterday looking for those planting chips. The one. They said, oh, no, you have to come back in October. Uh, she said, like, October. Uh, she, gave me, she gave me some date. She said, but call first. She said, because that's just an estimate. Y'all done went in and wiped out the... Well, see, you went to the one in Midtown. You go up to the one in... There's a Trader Joe's out here. I need in to Mary stop. Island. Oh, yes. It's on, on Powers. Peachy Corner. Let me, yeah, there. let me stop at the Trader Joe's out here with these whites and... Uh, yeah, they got them in the anglo saxon In schools. these whites and Mexican neighborhoods, okay? Hispanic. <laughs> Hispanic. Because it's mostly Hispanics out here. So let me stop over here because they may not know nothing about them. Which one did he tell you to go to? Which one what? Yeah, because it's... Oh, specific. it's this first one. Because there's a lot of them on the street. Um, I've never been in them, though. Because it's telling you to go up here to, it's this place. to turn right up here. Okay. Um, but, yeah, but I don't believe that, you know, we sold them out. I really don't. I just, because, I mean, all of y'all not in Atlanta. A lot of them don't get a lot of stock in. It's just like with the paella and certain those potatoes. We I can't find them potatoes. I was looking for those yeah, potatoes. Yeah, because they sell out, and they only will be out for a couple of weeks, and they'll get a truck in. They just, you know. Now, I'm going to tell you my new thing over there. I'm almost reluctant to tell y'all. They got these shrimp tempura. With this sauce. Yes, Thank you, Sunflower. When I tell you, you put those um, those uh, shrimp tempura in your air fryer, if you have one, now I, don't, I guess you can throw them in some grease, but the air fryer is quick. Do you hear me? And they come out sizzling and carrying on. <laughs> Baby, you put them in that air fryer. There ain't no air fryer instruction. Chantel. You picking up what I'm putting down? Chantel, you put them um, shrimp tempura in that air fryer for about 15 minutes. Now, you don't necessarily need the whole 15 minutes. What you do need, though, is about 12, 13. But you, halfway through, you need to flip them over, need so that they, they fry it all the way through. That dipping sauce, let me tell you something. About 2 o'clock this morning, I was in my kitchen in my air fryer. <laughs> After I had got off the phone with you... Where this place? It's right here in the front, ain't it? Uh-uh. Six, five, five. What, what is this? I think it's over here. Oh, there it is. Over there. Um, baby. I'm trying to tell you. That shrimp tempura is not to be played with. Nice little snack. When you don't feel like doing a whole bunch of cooking. 
and you want to do something quick, get your little dipping sauce. Ooh, my God. Small, compact air fryer, and you in business. Right. I went in there yesterday, and I bought about four boxes. I said, just in case I get on here and tell y'all about oh it. God. And then y'all end up running up there and tearing them up. And I can't get the stuff that I'm trying to get. But listen, we have made it to our destination. Are we get something to eat after we leave here because I'm starving. All I have this is gum. I can't do a jack. I'm gonna have to put this gum to the past. Because, yeah, because this, 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 this. Cause this I'm uh, on water and gum right now. Well, I did have a fresh pressed juice, but that was it. I've had nothing. Well, you were eating at the IHOP 1:30 this morning. See, why you gotta put my business? Uh huh. Because what you're not gonna do is misrepresent yourself up here. <laughs> That's what you're not gonna do. In fact, let me let me look and see what time that was that you were texting me that you, that you were riding around the, the same streets. amount of time you was up cooking them strip. No, the it, was, it was after that. Uh, no, it was before that. No, I ended up going in there cooking after that. Okay. Because I was trying to lay my ass in that bed and not get up. And the only reason his ass went out at somewhere finding something because his neighborhood, he's got to go a, a nasty distance. I have things right around the corner. That's the only I reason. have things around the corner. That's not open 24 hours. Oh, it? no, no, no. Not open 24 hours. Let me see what. Let me see what. The... It was before two o'clock. It sure was. It was let like me look. twelve thirty. Mm -hmm. I know. Midnight. He uh, twelve ten, twelve oh nine. I said before twelve thirty. But by the time that food digested, I exercise. <laughs> what you're not gonna do is come on here and lie to my people. I'm not lying. I'm improvising. Lying is such a strong word. So wait, at 12.09, were you going to IHOP at that point? At 12.09, I was in there picking up my order. I ordered my stuff online, and I was picking it up. Talk about... Damn, I was hungry. Talk about laughing out loud. Susie, calling me Susie. <laughs> Susie, why in the hell I fall asleep and just woke up hungry? This at 12.09 a.m as hungry as ever and at the IHOP looking for an omelet and pancakes. It was still healthy. Omelet and pancakes. I ate one pancake and half of the omelet. Girl, you should still be surviving off that pancake batter <laughs> this afternoon. Uh, no. That, that was, was only about 13 hours ago. 13. I should eat every four hours. Fuck out of here. Them heavy as uh, cement pancakes. <laughs> you should be all right to about... 2.30. Those pancakes were not heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I noticed that some of you have been buying these tickets for the Sunday show. I guess y'all figure y'all gonna wait to get closer up to it. Because uh, Nassim just purchased. How many is left? Um, Less than 50? It's probably, let me see. I don't know. I gotta look. But I see y'all. Y'all bought some tickets yesterday. Y'all bought some today. Keep buying them, honey. Buy them out. Sunday. But anyway, listen, we're going to go into this place here real quick. And then um, when I come back, I don't know if I'm going to jump back on the live or not, but we might just jump on um, YouTube. I mean, on um, Patreon. Patreon. All right. So listen, you guys have an amazing, what is today, Wednesday? Yes. You guys have an amazing hump day. And thank you for the cash apps. I, well, no, ain't nobody sent none. Um, anyway, I was saying, I was trying to be uh, proactive. Mm. Oh no, my, my my girl Vanita did. Mm. Thank you, Vanita. She says for some more ginger snap cookies. Look right, how right. thoughtful she is. Yeah, we got to go to the Trader Joe while we're over here too. Okay. Thank you, Vanita. I, oh, she's so pretty. Come on, Vanita. She got them brows snatched. She got her lip gloss popping. Is that the same color that you wear? <laughs> I don't wear anything. Thank you. This is natural. Fuck out of here with no damn makeup. <laughs> Bye, y'all.